Hello and welcome again to what I'm sort of referring to as, at least when I'm saving these videos as spicy, just in the fact that I'm waiting, these are sort of a waiting for Ice Worn to come. There the ice is getting. So, last time, last video where I uploaded was very off and Jade Baroth, which could have been still two very similar names that sound very neat. So this time it's going to be Nagakuga. While not an ice monster or a tundra based monster in this game, it is one of the monsters confirmed for the Iceborne expansion coming from Monster Hunter World. So, we're going to start off by hunting one of those. If I can remember where it is on this list. There you are. Are there any other ones? No, no. Basically, you're seeing some of the ones that I'll be doing later. But... Keep one. And I'm using. Twin daggers, which is sort of definitely my preferred weapon for hunting this particular monster. It's very quick and has so having the ability to move quickly around with a slower weapon can be very helpful. Is my personal preference at least. Ah, uh, such a long track. And I'm so very glad I decided to put on the auto tracker set because I do not remember its movement patterns. And this is a mostly Joe double duo set with a Hollow Gen Moron headpiece. Okay, you're gonna get a lot of me clacking buttons. And probably messing up a little bit. Oh, I didn't bring extra mega pictures. That's slightly concerning. Uh, considering this is a G rank set against a high rank Narnakuga, I will far go be too worried about it. Damn. I think this is more of a case in the world, but it's definitely not here where Roll does not cancel animations. If I'm in the middle of a combo swing kind of thing, I'm stuck in it. So it's usually a thing where I mid combo go in. Basically, pressing the button to roll. And it's nothing's gonna happen just because. It needs, it needs to finish that animation. Eat poison! I still don't know why this is the one monster that so far has been confirmed. I've heard it's actual Narcoo, that's not some subspecies or ice version of the monster. But I just don't see it as a tundra monster. Because it's normally in this more tropical esque climate.
And the only version of a substance suit that isn't is basically in a special arena. The Lucid. Which is on some type top of a plateau kind of thing. Where you also fight. What version of Tyrex it's called? It's the red version. I can't remember the exact name of it. But also gold and silver. Gold Rathion, Silver Rathalos. Crimson Tigers. No, that doesn't sound right. These Crimson Fake Tablets. Which is another fun one. So close to the edge right here. I mean, I'm going to. S oh! The, no. Come away from that little corner, thank you. Because I don't want to end up accidentally going to the other area mid combo. Or you knocking me into it. Come on, Narga. Yeah. Good, good monster. Not a dick. Oh, well, that poison is propping me very well. <gasps> and he's very often. He's gonna hit me in the next area. I survived! He's fallen! Not sure how that happened. Getting a lot of good staggers. And he's hungry. There's a slight hint of drool. Yep. Which means he's starting to get tired out, which hopefully means he'll stop moving for a quick second. Monsters will stop and pant a little bit longer. Right now, I'm also still hitting you and you're still getting staggered. That's probably stopping you from doing something like that. And you're still looking. Oh, God. Yeah, you were about to do it, but then you got the bomb tossed in your face. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Not sorry? Oh yeah. And its face is now broken because of the scar on one of its eyes. That stops him from actually hitting anything. if it eventually development of the style game got intricate enough that if certain parts are broken they'd have trouble tracking you. Like you could damage their vision or damage their sense of smell to make it harder for them to find you. And there are some instances of that, um, not so much with tracking, but with certain moves no longer become available. Rather than if you cut off the tail, 
Um, there's less percentage chance you can be poisoned. Great! I think that takes more effect in the world, because almost guaranteed anytime you get hit, no matter what, we're gonna be poisoned in this game. Taylor, no tip. I've never found it not poisoning. Thank you, Slate. That area? Yeah. So, give it a minute. So, once it goes blue, I'm gonna go in on the little mini map. That it is going to sleep and it's still being poisoned. Oh wow! I think the damage from the poison woke it up. Because I don't think that should have happened. But the poison did enough damage to crack it to wake up. When I'm aware, sleeping and eating does cause a mild health regen. It's very mild. So like if you lose track of monster for exorbitant amounts of time, and even if they went away, now they're still they recover just enough to not have that limp anymore. I don't think they could ever get back to full health, but they can recover more slightly. That's why it's good to not lose them for long periods of time. I think Spot Tracker is such a fun, good way to keep track of muscle. And Shout Boys from Marl are extremely helpful. Okay, come on, buddy. Yeah, Not sure how I didn't get hit there, but okay. And um That went faster than I expected it to. In. So I didn't break either of the arms, but face has that scar. Um, in case it got broken. And the tail got broken. Which can I even see the tail right now? I cannot, because it's in the tree. But usually instead of being a straight line on these arms, it'll be cracked in. Slightly. Chip away at some of the skills. These are Roggy. The Great Roggy is one of my other favorites from this game. But definitely no bar of possible monsters to be in, in that expansion. I did a small cutaway just so I could change my armor set after finding out which one I want to do quite next, and that's going to be two Lamboki. Lingo? I don't know how to pronounce them. They're bunnies. It's basically what I call them. They're bunnies. And I didn't bring any hot drinks, so this is going to be a lot of fun. Oh wait, did I have some left? No, I did not keep any from the last time I did one of these. 
Um, we're not in this area. Maybe over here. I'm sure it wasn't in two. Yes, here you are. I think these are both on the map at the same time, so we could run into a double team situation. I got my nice gold rapier. There's a second one. So, there he is. Basically, the only thing that gives him a chance of being in is to kill him in the Tundra. I think there is probably a lower chance for that actually happening. It would be neat. I don't think there's any monster like them in the game. Currently, don't. Okay, yeah, you can that. I really don't care about this. But the monsters that are similar to this one are as Earth, the bear, and. Valvedon, who's like an armadillo. Armadillo and ear, yes. Or no, armadillo, I think is all it is. He has a breathing mode coming up. So, these three, those three are sort of in the same category, though. I feel like the base skeleton is very similar, and their movesets are all fairly similar. But then bogeys. Ice! I know it's mostly a neutral forest. And Valadon is desert slash lava. Well, fire areas. So. A lot of what people mentioned prior to world releasing was the odds of certain monsters getting in are more depending on their type of skeleton. So base skeleton of of their moveset and their animations. So ones that are similar to ones that are already in the game are probably more likely the ones that would be brand new to the game. And since, like I said, I don't think there's any one-to-one -one for this particular one, I think this one has a lower chance overall. Come on! Open oh, my stamina. Balls right now. I'm a little busy right now. I'll play with you in a little bit. It's one down. Oh, I don't even have any stamina restoring element. This is great. I am. Totally prepared for this.
I like that other one now. Uh, let's struggle with not remembering the patterns. Did you go back to three? No. In one, maybe? I thought I'd see you go to two. I can't hold town apart to run for very long. Okay, you're not in here. Could be hurt. It's probably just. Those mammoth couple of monsters. Okay. Oh, no, I can't run at all now. This is so slow. This is why you bring hot drinks. Also, because I can't roll. I can roll once, and that's it. So against the Lambogius, I'm not too concerned. And once again, this is a bigger end game file, so all my gear is tearing. The most I can do in these offline modes are tiring. Damage wise, I'm not too concerned, but for refraining like Joe, I mean, way more concerned. And Joe is definitely one that will end up on that time for map. Joe. Joe and Basil Beast are like the monsters that do not care for environmental hazards. And Basil Beast is literally my favorite thing to come out of the world. It is the best one that game has been, in my opinion. Back here. Then Bogey does go in, usually the butt is so weak. Being from behind is what usually causes him to stagger and fall. area and walk into it. Back over here. Sometimes I miss the loading screens in between areas just because it does give you a safety net. If I did need to heal or sharpen my weapon. But sometimes it's really annoying. Like that when I accidentally walked into it. Because it was on the edge of the screen. Or the edge of the transition zone. Back it. Might as well. Yay, I can run! For a hot minute. So chilly. Yep, so that's Slim Bowie. Another one of the Tundra Monsters of the three ultimate 
Again. Like that, I think it's low to odds of getting into the ice pond expansion. But this is one of the existing tundra monsters. Which makes it. I still feel like a more likely candidate than Dark Recruiter. Which I'm still baffled is the first one they announced, but at the same time, it's a flagship monster. Dark Recruiter is, so. I understand that much at least. I'm going to cut this one off here, and I'll see you in the next one. On with more icy adventures.